hi <laughs> so i'm feeling kind of weird because i i don't know how to start the video because i'm like i've been really emotional the last few days just because of how supportive and how uh, positive everybody has been on my video where i recreated the jennifer lopez look that scott barnes did on tati and even talking about it i just like I don't even know how to say thank you to everybody who subscribed and watched and liked and left a really nice comment. It, It's like I didn't need that validation until I saw it, if that makes sense. It was, it was so overwhelming and yesterday I just like, I was sobbing. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> so that's why I feel a little weird. I don't know how to start the video other than saying thank you so much. And I initially, like a couple weeks ago, was planning on posting this Friday a house tour because I had mentioned in a couple of videos, like a while ago, a couple of months ago, that I was gonna do a house tour. I just felt like it wouldn't it wouldn't be appropriate. I, I needed to say thank you and I and I needed to uh I needed to do like a more of a sit down video and talk because that would have that would have been weird to get all this support and then just like be like here's my house. <laughs> to start this video, I wanted to do a get ready with me. I saw a lot of comments on that video, the J Lo video. You guys liked my makeup before I even did the J Lo makeup, and that I actually filmed two videos that day. I filmed my spring obsessions video and that J Lo video all in the same day. And so the makeup that I had in the Spring Obsessions video was what I was wearing in the beginning of the Tati video. And so I just was wiping it off while I was doing my intro. I do that makeup a lot. That's like my everyday makeup. I mean, every day I really don't wear like a lot of makeup like on the day to day, you know? But if I'm trying to like, you know, try. And so I just thought like I got a lot of comments on that video so I thought I would address a lot of them in this video. Why can't I put a hoop earring in? I just thought that I would show myself getting ready. I've been using the Pixi brand a lot lately for like skincare. A makeup melting cleansing cloth just to like take off any dirt that I might have had on my face from earlier today. And I took all the rest of the pads out. You know when you pull and like 10 come out and you're like <laughs> But that's what happened. So I guess I can just wipe my chest. And then I'll usually take the glow tonic to go. I love a good wipe, you know, I just love a good wipe. Oof. I don't know why all of a sudden I'll just start like cleaning behind my ear. You know, when you clean behind your ears, you feel like your sins are all being like wiped away. You know, you're like, I, I am clean. I thought I would basically show you the products that I use and then kind of just talk. I have been using the Tatcha Violet C Brightening Serum after my toner. And I just like basically slap that into my face. <laughs> And um, I try to not rub too much, but I mean, I think it's kind of unrealistic, but I try to, you know, go like this, do a nice little pad pad. You know, you see people slapping themselves. I try to like, you know, do the same thing. Yesterday, I didn't have a very big dinner and my best friend was over and I don't know what came over us, but we both started eating Lay's and we put lemon like all over the Lay's and tahin and then Valentina hot sauce all over it. And we ate the full family size bag. And by we, I mean, I ate like 90% of it. I woke up, I, I was so swollen from the amount of like tahini and salt and like chip that I had had. But you know, I don't regret it. I don't, I just don't, I don't regret it. You know, you only live once. But I mean, I feel like my life could be prolonged a little bit if I ate a little bit healthier. So I went out and bought a seven day celery juice cleanse out of, out of guilt, you know? <laughs> And the moisturizer that I just put all over my face is the Ole Ula, Ula, that's how you say it, Ula Hendrix Transform Plus Good Night Glow Retinol Sleeping Cream. You know what I'm not doing right now? Going to sleep. Revel, you know? I live on the edge, okay? The next thing that I'll do is take the Tatcha Silk Canvas, and I really like this. I think it smells nice. You know, fills in those pores. We're just gonna go with that. We're going to put that all over our face. Obviously, Tatcha is expensive, but I really like um, putting kind of more of a mattifying or pore filler in the middle of my face. Take the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid Highlight in Opal. And I'll just start slapping that on to the outer perimeters of my face. On um, like the temples, you see, it just gives such a nice shine. I really like this stuff. It's so nice. And I'll start putting that on the temples, throw a little bit on my nose. You know, I think about this sometimes. Like I put the Tatcha 
primer to like make my face look less shiny. I add the highlighter basically all over my face, which I now all of a sudden feel like that's super dumb. <laughs> Next I'll take the Naked Skin Urban Decay in Light Neutral. I love this concealer formula. It's so creamy and I feel like it blends out super easy. And I'll basically put some on my chin. I'll put some in the middle of my forehead, down my nose, down the sides of my nose, all of that good stuff. You know, if, if a house tour does seem cool, like let me know because I'll still do it. And I'll just take a beauty blender, blend it out. I need to wash this beauty blender actually. I've used it like two or three times. And then I'll use that as kind of like an eyeshadow primer. I just kind of put it everywhere. Next in my routine, I'll either take the Dusk Glossier Cloud Paint or I'll take the Beam Glossier Cloud Paint and I'll just tap that on in to my face. Then I'll just take like my beauty blender and tap the rest of that in. Okay, now that the creams are on, I'm just gonna take MAC Patrick Star Translucent Powder. This is the Patrick's powder, but I also think that like the Laura Mercier powder is fine or the Peach Perfect powder, but I'll just put that in the center of my face. Just a light dusting, you know. I met a girl named Dusty today and I asked her, I was like, what is Dusty? You know, like, is that, is that short for something? And she was like, it's short for Dustin. And I was like, that's kind of cool, you know? And she said that everyone started calling her Dusty. Yeah, and then our conversation got cut short because there was somebody else in line, so I had to go. But yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Dusting, I'm dusting. Every time I dust something on my face, I'm gonna think of her. Miss you, Dusty. I normally put on the Ula Hendrix Banana Bright Eye Cream, so. I can't believe I forgot that. Now that I have powder just dusted all over my face, I will go in with bronzer. I bought the Cheerleader Bronze Squad palette. I'll probably just plop them out because I'm not like too uh, keen on the packaging. Hula Caramel Bronzer, I feel like that one is right up my alley. So I'll take that and I will begin to place that on my cheekbone and I'll just start blending. And I'll blend for a long time because I feel like Bronzer, like when you just like pile it on like that, can look a little bit patchy. And I'll just put a lot of bronzer on. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the bronzer. Just really try to warm up the face a little bit. And then I will take the Hangover 3-in-1 spray, or I'll take the Morphe one, and I'll spray my face. And while my face is wet, I feel like I'll just use the Cookie Highlight because I know that one's available, and it's pretty cute. Um, I also really like the Laura Geller highlight in Gilded Honey. Just basically any highlight that suits your skin tone that's pretty. Um, I'll go down straight down my nose and then at the tip of my nose. I feel like my day-to-day -day makeup isn't too like exact. Like I just kind of like to throw it on and just see what happens because I don't want to stress myself out like trying to look perfect all the time you know put some highlight on put in some effort feel good about yourself and then i'll see where like my the light is touching my cheek and wherever that is i'll add more highlight and then i like that whole thing where people have been putting the highlight like kind of on top of their eyebrow and then right here and then i'll take the cookie highlight and maybe place a little bit on my inner corner you know and then i'll take that hula caramel mix it with a little hula the regular hula and then just put that all over my eyelid kind of just blend it around just basically taking my bronzer under my eye okay what was i doing my brows so i like the number three brow powder set duo and i'll take the lighter shade in the beginning and I will fill in my brows. I like to put in a little bit of effort on my brows just because I feel like it does make a difference. So I just put that mascara on. Okie dokie. On my other eye. And that is with mascara. Now that the makeup is basically all done, I'm just gonna do the lips. Sometimes we do the lips before the eyes, you know, occasionally. So I really like the Cork Lip Liner by MAC. I'll not overline the outsides of my lips, but I'll just kind of overline in the middle. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tap it around with my finger a little bit. Kind of blend it into my lips. And then I'll take the Glossier lip gloss. And you think 
this is not that big of a deal but it's clear but it has like a pink tint to it and i swear it makes you look like you have water all over your mouth but like in a great way you know Up that all over your lips kind of like the glossier commercial huh huh look at the way that shines it's looking like you drink a, a gallon of water looks like you eat your vegetables it looks like you call your grandma you know it just looks like you have your life together. So that is the entire look. Thank you so much for watching. I like, I just don't know what else to say other than thank you. Like, wow, wow, right here. Ugh, you know, it's a pleasure. It's just been a pleasure. If you have anything that you'd like to see, please let me know. Uh, okay, well, yeah. I'm just gonna step out now, bye.